Good morning, everybody. It is time for the daily review. So let's check it out. Looks like there's a workshop here. So yeah, we can see what's going on. First, we're gonna now I already almost have this one. It's kind of a conundrum. I could kind of I could reset this one and try and get 750. But I don't think I'm going to. All right, we'll just do this one. Eh, see, I would have reset it for 500 anyways, but that's okay. You know, I don't mind getting the 500s. It's just nice to try and get 750. And I think it's a good idea to try whenever you can. Okay, so let's go take a look at what's going on. Let's, uh, so we know Corset 2021 is a good deal. Uh, Premier Draft Core 2021 is a good deal. Let's check out this workshop. Okay, so, so you're itching to try something a little different, eh? It looks like cats versus dogs. Well, I've got just the thing for you. You won't find the decks everyone else is playing, but that doesn't mean that they don't still pack a serious punch. If you want to have some fun and experiment with some cards that are, let's say, off the beaten path, then let's give these a go now from Felden. All right, so it looks like cats versus dogs. Let's go inspect them. Yep. So there is a dog's aggro deck right now that could be pretty good. So, all right, interesting, interesting. And yeah, you get a companion with this one. I wonder if there's a dog companion. Um, hmm. All right, so you got some removal here. Some more removal. Okay, well, we'll see. Pride Mate is really good, especially, uh, yeah, because you have ways to gain life. All right, interesting. If you if you can resolve a Pride Mate, then, oops. If you can resolve a Pride Mate, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go back to this. I accidentally clicked out. Okay, so I'm gonna go check out the dog's deck. And Kylie. Shh. All right, so the dog's deck does not have, does not have um, any, any companion. Let's see, but I feel like it probably has more consistency. Interesting, so let's see, enters the battlefield, you're in one way human. Okay, so do we have spells that target Hero of the Nyxborn? It feels like this is kind of a weird include here. I guess, do we have spells that target him though? Like, it just seems like a very odd include. Okay, so fight as one. Okay, so you get a human that gets one plus one plus one. And then the selfless savior, okay. Alpine Huntsmaster. Okay, so let's see. When Alpine enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a card named Alpine Watchdog and or a card named Igneous Kerr. All right. And put them into your hand and shuffle your library. Okay, so you can get two other ones. When Alpine Hun Huntsmaster attacks, it gets plus X plus zero, where X is the number of other attacking creatures. All right, so it's a big guy. Okay, it gets plus two plus zero. Alpine Vigilance. All right, interesting. Uh... It just seems very strange that Hero of the Nyxborn is in here, right? Because, yeah, you you can pump up your other creatures, but I don't know, isn't there a better way to do this? Like, it just seems a kind of a strange one to go to do. Um, okay, I feel like the Cats one might be the more powerful of the two, but we'll try it out later and... Well, if I can, if I get a chance, and we'll, I'll let you know. Okay, so let's go to the store and see what happens. Okay, so in the store, we got more card styles. All right, um, this is something that kind of bothers me too. And let me know, like these, all these cards were part of the mastery pass. You know, so like, you know, you bought the Mastery Pass and part of it presumably is to get these card styles. And then they actually like, after you get these card styles, then they just like offer them in the, then they offer them in the store. And it just seems like, you know, kind of a slap in the face of the people that just previously put in the Mastery Pass. Maybe they should offer like alternate art ones for the Mastery Pass holders. Um, you know, because like you are paying for something and then later on they're gonna offer it like half price in the store. So it seems kind of a, a feel bad, even though I don't really care about them. Like, you know, if there are some people that legitimately do and so I feel like this is kind of a feel bad type thing. Anyways, don't buy any of them. All right, let's go to packs, see what's in the packs. Okay, so I got a Theros and a Core 2021. So let's try those. what I get? Brian Giant's actually okay in, especially in draft. Um, Banishing Light's good. 
Next more class. This looks. Uh, I've played a lot of these in draft. Okay, and Hactos. Hactos is actually a really cool one. Uh, a really nice card, but very narrow as far as its colors go. But still, I would pe definitely pick that up, especially in draft if I could. All right. Um, okay, so core 2021. Bad deal. Draw two cards. Each opponent discards two cards. Each player loses two life. Yeah, all right. Um, for six mana, it does seem kind of like a bad deal. All right. Oh, and Mythic Wildcard. I will take that one for sure. All right. So, yeah, 12 rares, 8 Mythics. That's not a lot. Like, you could blow that easily or more than that in just making one deck. So, I think they need to have a way to... Like, like I said, I think having a way to up convert cards, so even if you did it like 10 to 1, so if you said like 10 uncommons could become one rare, right, that would give me 27, uh, I could dust off like 27 of these uncommons and then make them into rares, and you could maybe say like, you know, 10 rares could, or 5 rares or whatever could become like a mythic rare or something like that, so, you know, you can actually convert these like crappy common and uncommon wild cards into rare and mythic rares because eventually i'm going to just end up with like thousands of them you know i just won't have like anything to spend them on so yeah i think that's another idea of how arena could get better is having some way to up convert kind of like at the carnival where it's like five to one or you know something like that. i'd say five to one would be appropriate um you know um but the problem with five to one is that would give me 50 this, uh, from my uh, 277 uncommon uncommons to turn into 50 rares, which might break the economy. But if you did to 10 to 1, I still feel like 27, converting that for like, you know, 27 rares, right, would actually be pretty fair. You know, because in the meantime, what am I going to do with all these uncommons? And eventually I'm just going to have like thousands of uncommon wildcards that I can just never do anything with. All right, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's got to be a way to kind of pump those up. Or, or convert up. Okay, um, that's it for now. I'll try and play the workshop decks and see what we can do. And if I get a chance to, uh, then I will post the videos later. So anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.